Good morning Destiny players and welcome to a new build video on the channel, this time on the Titan class. If I sound a bit nasally, I apologize, allergies are kicking my butt today. Expect more Warlock and Titan builds for a bit since my loadout slots are full on my Hunter. I am Bladeburger, your local iCast 4th Aerolingus for X equals 13 kind of guy. Make sure to do the stuff the algorithm enjoys. Also check out my second channel, I make Minecraft videos there, with a second one coming soon. Link in the description. Now let's begin with my build for the popular point contact cannon brace, or the PCCB as I'll call it throughout the video. Let's start with the exotic, the PCCB. These gauntlets exotic perk makes so kills with thunderclap, titan melee, refunds some energy, and also gives you a thunderclap extra lightning bolts that jolt enemies nearby. If you're amplified, the lightning does more damage. Pretty simple, right? Let's see what this exotic tells us to do and how this guides the build. First off, Thunderclap Melee, so we should use Arc Titan with that melee. Secondly, restores melee energy on Thunderclap kills, so we're looking at a melee build. Thirdly, the strikes jolt enemies, so we can use some jolt synergy here. Let's get into it. We'll start with the weapons first before the abilities, as this build is pretty flexible with weapons. I would recommend your favorite arc weapon to pair with this, Ikelos SMG, Risk Runner, Trinity Ghoul, whatever you please. And honestly, as I typed this, I pulled out a Trinity Ghoul to try it out. I hear it's good. You don't necessarily need to run Volt Shot on your weapons, as this build is more focused on the melee rather than the weapons. Heck, run any weapon you want and swap out the Siphon mod on the helmet. If you'd like a weapon-focused build video, like my Collective Obligation build, let me know. Now let's get to the class stuff. For class, Arc Titan of course, Thunder Crash has a super because why would we ever use Fist of Havoc? For class ability, Thruster. I highly dislike casting barricades so the Thruster is a godsend. Hit whatever hotkey you set to jet across the ground in a direction. Has a similar cooldown as Hunter Dodges. For melee, Thunderclap of course. Hold to charge a powerful punch that shoots out in a wave. Does more damage the longer the charge is held. For grenade, choose whatever you please, but we all know you're just running pulse grenade. For aspects, we absolutely are not running juggernaut, so we have touch of thunder. Makes our grenades better. Woo. Our other aspect is knockout. Critically wounding an enemy or breaking their shield gives extra melee damage and range. It also gives health regen and amplified buff when you get a melee kill. For fragments, spark of focus. Class ability regen is sped up when sprinting. Spark of discharge. Arc weapon kills have a chance to make an ionic trace. Happens more often than you would think. Spark of Ions. Enemies killed while they have Jolt Applied makes an Ionic Trace, 10 second cooldown. Spark of Amplitude. Multi kills while Amplified makes an Orb of Power. So there's the class stuff, and now to stats, then mods. For stats, I recommend High Resilience for class ability recharge. A dip into Strength is also recommended, but not needed. We get our melee back very quickly with this build. For the mods, this build is a Kickstart Center build. Make Orbs, get Armor Charges, Profit. Easy. Let's get into it. On Helmet we have Harmonic Siphon, makes orbs on double kills or more with weapons matching our subclass type. We also have Hands On, giving us more super energy on power melee kills. Very quick super. On Arms, double melee kickstart. When you use your power melee, consume any armor charges you have and gain back melee energy based on the charges consumed. Requires at least one armor charge to trigger. We also have Heavy Handed, making orbs on power melee kills with a 10 second cooldown per orb created. Cooldown is reduced for each copy of that mod, which absolutely no one is doing. On chest piece, triple resist mods. That's all chest piece is good for outside of raids. On boots, double invigoration. Gain melee energy when you pick up an orb power, more for each copy of the mod. We also have recuperation, giving health on orb pickup. On class item, double outreach, giving melee energy when we use our class ability, more with each mod. We also have Reaper, which allows class ability usage to generate an orb of power on your next weapon kill. So there's all the mods, and here's the overview. Do the usual screen setting and stuff. I'll wait. Okay, now that you're done, let's get to how this build plays. This build is pretty great for a lot of the game. Raids it can do well on ad clear, seasonal activities it scales pretty well with the difficulty, and it even does well in non-GM nightfalls. It's not as strong as Banner of War, obviously, but it is very fun to destroy huge groups of enemies. The synergies in the build help it quite a lot to get your melee energy back, just to be able to use it and clear out more enemies. Holding it longer helps to take down more tankier enemies, but do be aware that you are pretty vulnerable when charging. The orb that you make when scoring a kill with Thunderclap does quite a lot. Gives melee energy, adds an armor charge, gives health, and does the normal orb thing of super energy. It's quite easy to vomit orbs of power at insane rates, some enemies even making two orbs when you kill them due to several things triggering at once. This isn't the strongest build out there, but it's a very fun one. If you try it, let me know how it does. I do read all comments. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Join my Discord. Blade Burger out.